Rest in peace, Charlie Munger. Charlie Munger passed away at the ripe old age of 99. Folks, you don't know who Charlie Munger is, do yourself a favor and look him up. He's obviously most known for being a partner with Warren Buffett. But what you may not know is Charlie Munger was rich long before his partnership with Warren Buffett took him from rich to billionaire status. But what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about some Charlie Munger quotes, what they might mean to you and I. We're going to talk about Case Schiller home prices. We're going to talk about FHFA home prices. And we will talk about the Vegas events. Folks, the Vegas event, there is 11. Yes, folks, 11. We released 35 tickets, the final 35 tickets two days ago. We have sold 24. We have 11 left. Get your tickets. This is it. No more coming. I don't want to I don't want to have any more than 300 folks. So, get the last 11 tickets. We'll sell this thing out and we will start focusing on the event. Charlie Munger passed away at the age of 99. I went ahead and collected some quotes that are attributed to Charlie Munger. Here's the first one. I think that a life properly lived is just learn, learn, learn all the time. One of the things that you've undoubtedly heard about Warren Buffett is he reads four to five hours a day. What Charlie Munger is really telling you there is you're never done. You have heard this from Sean Cannell from Think Media. You've heard this from other great luminaries who are always getting better, always reading. If you watch Sean Cannell on Think Media, he's always reading more and more books and sharing. Folks, if you want to get after it and you want to move the needle, one of the things you have to do is invest in yourself and maybe that's just reading more, seeking out more knowledge and doing that. Next, it takes character to sit with all that cash and do nothing. I didn't get where I am by going after mediocre returns. Folks, you and I have undoubtedly heard folks like Ray Dalio and others talk about cash is trash, which you may not realize as over the last two or three decades, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and Berkshire Hathaway have largely sat on these huge piles of cash waiting for the opportunity to strike. Cash is, an op is like an option on future deals. Why did Berkshire Hathaway extract 10% yield uh, future options from Goldman Sachs and others in the Great Recession because they were the only one left with cash. Folks, what else do we talk about on this channel all the time? And I, and I asked you, I implored you, at least through the end of January, only great deals. No good, only great deals. So again, I think Charlie Munger really highlighted, it's okay. It's the last part of that quote that I really liked. I am where I am. I am. I didn't get where I am by going after mediocre returns. Folks, we don't do good deals. We do great deals. Next, one of the insane things uh, that is taught in modern university education is that vast diversification is absolutely mandatory. How many times have you heard a version of diversify, diversify, diversify? Other monger quotes basically go, diversification is for the uneducated. One of the things that I loved about Munger decades ago, and I've talked about it, is he said, hey, take your shot, right? If you're gonna, be, if you're gonna put your egg in one basket, then watch the basket. When you get to be rich like him, sure, diversify. But in the beginning, Get good at your thing. And I think Charlie Munger proved that. And again, diversification is a way Wall Street gets rich. And maybe we do, maybe we don't. Here is last one that I found that is particularly relevant today in today's social media world. There are a lot of people growing really, really fast, pe preaching doom, fear, and crash. I want to give you a Charlie Munger quote. The great lesson in life is get toxic people the hell out of your life. 
Folks, I know you watch the stuff, my, my analytics show. Some of you have commented that you watch them to get a balanced view. Folks, there's a difference between a balanced view and putting poison in your head. Some of these channels are great and I watch them for their options, but you have to be able to separate the charlatans who have been preaching crash for three years and delete the evidence versus someone who just has a bearish view. They are not the same. If you are not auditing your social media network, you are making a mistake. Your social media is like a wire into your brain. Be careful, right? Really watch what you are doing. All right, folks, let's move on. Let's talk about some Case Schiller. Case Schiller, again, as I say all the time, is old information. But nonetheless, it is what we have about price, price, price. Case Schiller, drum roll please, up. Yes, I said up. I know the Crash Bros told you it was gonna crash in 2023. I know, I, 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 I'm sorry, but it was up 3.9% year on year. Just so you know, Detroit up 6.7, San Diego up 6.5, New York up 6.3%. Median rent, however, median rent is going down. It was down. 0.9% month on month. Apartment vacancy is currently sitting at 6.4%, <coughs> slightly above historical averages. Other things about the Case Shiller Index is they do a Case Shiller Top 20 or the 20 index. 17 of the 20 are up year on year. All time highs in Atlanta, Boston, Charlotte, Chicago, Cleveland, Detroit, Miami, New York, and Tampa. The only three cities out of 20 that were down, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Portland. Something else that we get uh, on Case Shiller Day is FHFA. FHFA said home prices were up 0.6% month on month and up 5.5% year on year. Lastly, Lance Lambert from Resi Club. Go to do yourself a favor, resiclubanalytics.com. Get the free newsletter. If you're not getting the free newsletter, I don't know what you're doing. But here's a great summary of what Mortgage Bankers Association is now saying about interest rates, home prices, and transactions. It's those three things working together. So let's just get into it. In 2024, Mortgage Bankers Association now thinks that prices will go up 4.1%. Earlier this year, the forecast was 1.1%. So again, I'm guessing lower supply, lower rates, higher prices. 2025, up 3.3%, and in 2026, up 3.9%. Historically speaking, that's right around trend. Historically speaking, home prices go up about 1% over inflation. So, you know, a little bit more than average, but that's what Mortgage Bankers Association is calling for. How about the 30-year mortgage? The 30-year mortgage at the end of 2024 is expected to be 6.1. That's quite the drop. At the end of 2025, five and a half, and at the end of 2026, 5.4%. <coughs> now for the big question. What about transactions? Remember folks, we just did 3.79 million transactions. We called 3.8 on this channel as being the bottom. We were so close. What does mortgage bankers say about transactions? Well, 2024, they're expecting 5.1. This is existing home sales, existing home sales only. 2025, 5.7 million, and 2026, 5.8 million. Folks, I don't know what to tell you. I don't see it. I don't see how we get back to nearly 6 million by the end of 2026, but that's for another video. Folks, again, remember, there's 11 seats left for our event in Vegas. I will put a link below. Also, we are just about to start our journey home, so you have one more day, one more day to get the How to Get Started One Rental at a Time course for $3.99 and get two free bonus videos like the buy box, like the six hour mastermind, whatever else your heart desires. 
So again, $3.99, get it before the price goes up, get the 100 bucks in free goodies, and join the Facebook group. You won't regret it. Thanks, folks. Take care. Bye.